But can we survive without food? No. 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 From where do the food we, uh, we get? From plants. plants. Plants give us food. Then only we can survive. Yeah. They give us oxygen. They give us food. Oxygen. They maintain some balance in the atmosphere. So it is our duty to learn about plants. What is there in the plants? So today we will learn some things about plants. So this is an example of a plant. See a small plant I have taken. There are three main parts. What are they? First one is roots. Next and leaves. This is stem, root and leaves. In plants generally there are two kinds of root systems. One is tap root system. Other one is fibrous stem. Fibrous root system. Okay. Tap root system means the main root becomes the the central root becomes the main root. Like in cat, if you see, this is the main root. And the side small roots will be coming out of the main root. That we call it call them as lateral roots. Side roots we call as lateral roots. This is the main root that we call as tap root. Carrot, beetroot, radish, all these are examples for tap root system. Tap root system. All these are examples for tap root system. You can see directly we can eat this root. Okay? Entire food is stored in this root itself, which we can consume well. There is another root system where the roots are in the form of a cluster, like a group. Small fine roots will be there, like a group, like this. This we call it as fibers. Here, roots will be like fibers. fibers. So we call it as fibers. fibers. So roots, we have two types. One is tap root system. Fibers. Fibers. Other is fibrous fibers. root system. Tap root system, the main root called tap root, fibers. like beetroot, root, carrot, radish, all these things, tap roots. In other plants, we see fibrous roots. Okay, understand about root system. Now we'll see about leaves. So if you see, we all have skeleton inside our body, isn't it? What happens if the skeleton is not there? If the skeleton is not there inside our uh, body, what happens? Can this flesh stay like this? No. So what does the skeleton system gives to us? It gives some, uh, some support. It gives a structure, a shape, a support for all the body parts. Similarly, leaf also has some skeletal system. Understand? Leaf also has skeletal system. So, what is that skeletal system? What happens? That skeletal system of leaf, if we observe, there are two kinds inside them. So, in the middle long line, if you see, Now can you see? Yes. Yes. Middle long line is there, no? Yes. That is called midrib. Here it is. Midrib. The base of the leaf is called pedium. Pedio. This is pedium. And the middle long line is midrib. Mid and this flat portion is called lamina. lamina. Leaf lamina. Flat portion is called lamina. lamina. And if you observe this, now can you observe clearly? Small branches, fine branches like stretches arising from the midrib. The small lines. See, maze are uh, small lines if you observe. On the mass, small branches like lines. Wings. Still small branches are arising. Still small, finer branches, line-like structures from these wheels are called wheel legs. Understand? And this whole arrangement of this midrib, all these veins, veinlets, all this, this arrangement is called venation. Is called venation. Venation. So in plants, we have two kinds of venation. Here, if you see, if you see, all these are, it is a network like structure, web like structure. So, such a kind of venation is called reticulate venation because it is a reticulate venation network. It is a network like structure. This venation we call it as reticulate venation. There is another venation where here, see, now you can't see network here. Huh? You can't see some line like structures are 
are there inside the leaf. Can you see it? Line like stretches. All these are like parallel lines, straight lines. So here veins are arranged in the form of parallel lines. Such arrangement of veins is called parallel venation. This is reticulate venation. Can you see the small finer divisions, veins and veins in this? This is reticulate venation and this is parallel venation. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Reticulate venation, parallel venation. Now we studied about root system and the arrangement of veins inside the leaves. Venation, parallel venation and reticulate 